everyone it's Nicole and I'm coming at you with another video where I am cleaning this disaster of a room now I have to say it's looking better and better every week and this is not the area we're going to clean today but I needed to do this so I gave myself room to clear the area I wanted to do now on that little stand where I had the iris containers I had a few things there, but I found like I wasn't utilizing that area very well. So I took all my Project Life containers or boxes and I stacked them on one, one on top of the other. And actually the stuff that was there before is still going to fit there in front of the boxes and on top of it. And I opened up two cubes. And I'm going to put a lot of my eight and a half by 11 papers because I'm going to show you the area where I want to clean today. And maybe I already did, but I have a bunch of albums that I have no room to put and a bunch of different things, mainly albums and where the eight and a half by 11 cardstock was, was the perfect place for albums as you can see there on the floor i have quite a few albums and also um, i have some calyx kind of like inserts and i don't know if i'm going to use them or not it's to make like little shelves so you can put a pattern paper in so i might see you know at one point when i'm going to do some organizing i'm going to tackle that calyx um, area and once my room is clean then we're going to switch to organize with me and i'm going to organize the drawers i'm going to organize some rascog i'm going to organize this room so by the end of 2024 this room is going to be organized and the thing that I'm doing is I'm doing this every Sunday. Now, today I spent 50 minutes, so that didn't take me long at all. And But by the end of the session, if you will, my room is back to, you know, clean. Um, I clean an extra area and I make sure that I clean what was clean before. So where I'm sweeping here, I make sure to sweep in front of where I work most of the time and that other runway, if you will, if you will, I clean that too. And you're going to see I am obsessed with coloring stamp images lately. So you're going to see what I'm going to do to kind of fix that so that um, my Copics aren't sitting on my desk. Because remember, I did a great job at cleaning my desk. Now, Right on top of my brother's scan and cut, I had probably 50 layouts just sitting there. So what I end up doing is I divide it into piles, piles that are finished, and then piles that actually it's going to work out really well because I had already put pictures on top of the layout that I want to put uh, the pictures on that layout. And this coming Saturday... My patrons and I are going to put pictures in some layouts that are already completed. So that worked out really good. And then when I was going through this, I'm like, hey, this layout is completely done. So I end up actually putting it into albums. And that's what I said I wanted to do, right? I want to make sure that I at least put 100 layouts in albums. And this is an album that is for my trip and it was buried under the layout so there was no way I could even know where it was so I gotta write that down somewhere I put down four layouts away in the album and the stack that I just grabbed there is layouts that I've already picked the photos and will put together this weekend again it's a good thing that I did my desk first because it doesn't seem to matter what area I clean. I pack everything on the desk. I clean out the area that I want 
and then I take the 10, 15 minutes that it takes and organize all the stuff that I took from that area. I had a couple things that I wanted to do this week. I wanted to clear that runway that I showed you where the eight and a half by 11 was. I wanted to pick up all those albums, but I also wanted to clear out that wire container because that's where I want to keep my page kits and they were starting to pile up again and I was like this needs to be a priority so here we go I clean that out and now I'm able to put my page kits in the wire container and there was even page kits from the day crop that I had gone to I hadn't taken it out of the bag that I had you know put them in to go to the crop because I knew I want to get that cleaned out and then they can all sit in there. And I found this little storybook, Pete the Cat or something. So I'll have to make sure to bring that downstairs and read it to Lexi. So of course I had, you know, swept a little bit, but now it's time to do a bigger sweeping. And once all the areas are all done, I'm going to do one final sweeping and then I'll bring you know a mop and uh, some water and then I'll wash the entire floor now next week I think what we're going to tackle is that desk where you see that chair there must be 200 layouts sitting on that chair and there must be about three or four hundred layouts sitting on top of that desk and the whole purpose of that desk was so I could sit down and journal on the layouts. Because I like to, most times I like to stand up to scrapbook. But for journaling, I like to sit down. So I don't know if you can tell, but I still have like five or six holes that are still open for new um, albums, which is amazing. Now... As you can tell, I have my Copic stuff on my desk and I don't like it there because my desk is clean. And the same day, I go and I grab a Rascog that I had downstairs. I cleaned it all up and look at that. My Copics fit on the top. I have my file folders. I have my markers and then I have my Ohuhu markers that sit on the next shelf and the spinny thing from Pampered Chef I'll show you during my stamping videos what I'm going to do with that. So that's it. That is this session of cleaning my room. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.